Hello and welcome to Math 3A for the summer 2024. I'm Greg Perkins and this video is about how to use my math lab to do the homework and quizzes. So if you take a look at the syllabus, highlighted right here is the course ID. So I'm just going to copy that and then go over to the internet and just type in my math lab. You probably can't see it, but that's okay. It says my math lab. So if you just Google my math lab, there's Pearson. That's the company. And if you already are registered because of some other class, go ahead and sign in, or you can create an account, say student access. And then this says, are you using something like Canvas? Please put no because I do not have Canvas and My Math Lab linked. So just say no. And then I'm ready to register. So you need that code, which I just copied from the syllabus. And then continue to register. Now, at this point, it would ask you to create your account with your username and password. Of course, I already have one, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And then this is important that you see this because they have these possibilities. They'll try to sell you a two-year plan for $150. do not do it. We just need the cheapest one possible, so that's $89.99. Now, if you're going to pay for it yourself, this $89.99 is the cheapest option. The bookstore will sell you an access code, which is what you'd use over here if you got it from the bookstore. But I would only buy it from the bookstore if you have financial aid. If financial aid is going to pay through it, through the Hartnell to College bookstore, that's fine. If you're going to pay for it yourself, Hartnell bookstore is going to mark it up. So the cheapest option is going to be the $89.99. Now, when you do um, when you do click the eighty nine ninety nine and it asks for payment, it's going to say temporary access. If you want, that will let you use it for two weeks for free, which I definitely recommend that you do. If you do that option and have it for free for fourteen days, then at the end of fourteen days, if you have not paid them yet, then they will put a block on your account. They won't erase your work. Your work will still be there. After you pay, it'll open up. I'll be able to see your grades again, and everything goes fine from there. All right, but this $89.99, that is the cheapest option available. Okay, so now let's go to the actual course. So Math 3A for the summer. And I have to sign in again. Math 3A for the summer. Here we go. So this is the home page, but I don't even really look at it. I just go over here to assignments. And all of the assignments are there for the whole class. So for the first week, you need to finish uh, 2.1 through 2.6 homework. The following Wednesday, there's a quiz on 2.1 through 2.6. And if you look at this part where there's the each individual homework assignment, and if you also look at where my video lectures are on Canvas, they're labeled exactly the same. So you go in here and watch the video that I made about section 2.1, and then go over here and you can do the homework for 2.1. And all the due dates are over here on the left. So when you first, if you haven't used uh, my math lab before, uh, you will need to allow pop-ups because when you ever you quick click a homework question, it has this little pop-up window. If you're using, I use Google Chrome, and in the upper right-hand corner, it will say if it's blocking pop-ups, and then I just click uh, click on that and say allow pop-ups from my Pearson or my lab Pearson. Okay, so with the homework, there are some helpful things down here. So of course you could just look at this and say, oh, I watched Perkins video, I know how to do this, and you put the answer. You could also take a look at the textbook. You could also ask the instructor, me. So if you are gonna ask me a question, please make sure you use this Ask My Instructor, because that way it shows me a copy of the problem you were looking at, 
So don't just say, hey, on homework number one, why does it have 12x cubed? And if I open that question, it's going to say 8x cubed or 13x cubed. So please use the um, Ask My Instructor because that way it gives me a copy and then you can just type in your message right there. One of the things that students say they really like is the view and example. So if you look at this problem, it has 8x cubed plus 8. And then when I say view an example, it basically just changes the number to 3x cubed plus 3, and then it's going to take me through step by step how to do that problem. Now when I use this, and I actually do use this sometimes because students will ask me a question about how did they get from this to this, instead of having to put continue, continue, I just say print, and it's not that I'm actually going to print it, it just makes it so that I can see the whole thing and there's all of the steps and I don't have to put continue continue so that just saves a little bit of time okay so with each okay we're done with that with each homework question you do have an unlimited number of attempts so you can just keep trying it until you get it right so help me solve this is basically the same as view an example it just with help me solve this they'll do it with this function first and once they do that then they'll give you one with different numbers like 12x cubed plus 12 or something like that. Um, also depending on the question sometimes there's more information here so sometimes when you say get more help it will like have a link to a video or something like that so each question is slightly different it's not always the same two things right here. So with the homework, you could at any time stop doing the homework, log out, walk away, don't log out, walk away, whatever your style is, that's fine. Because you have an unlimited number of attempts, you can always come back and start working on the homework again. And something else that I wanted to show you is if you go over to the e-text, Okay, never mind. They changed. Okay, here it is. Sorry. They put it under video resource library. So, what you can do is say, I'm working on uh, chapter two, section, whatever. Oh, we don't do that one. And then you say, Show me everything that you've got. And basically, everything that they've made the textbook, interactive figures, PowerPoint presentation videos. So anything that they've created will be here. So in case you need extra resources, use that under the video resource library. Now let's go back to the assignment list. So um, basically Monday through Friday, you would work on the homework and finish that. The following Wednesday, there's a quiz on that homework. And with the quiz, the quiz comes from the homework questions. So if, as you're doing the homework questions, you write down your work, then when you're doing the quiz, and it's not like a proctored quiz, you basically are just redoing the homework questions. But with the homework questions, you have an infinite number of attempts. With the quiz, you only have two attempts. So when you're ready to start the quiz, and when I made up the quiz, I was choosing questions, until it said that it would take students, based on previous students' work, it would take about an hour to do the quiz. So um, it should take about an hour. That's what they estimate. And like I said, the homework, question, the homework questions and the quiz questions are pretty much the same. They just change the numbers. Now with the quiz, you have two attempts. Now when you're taking the quiz, if you're going to walk away, finish the question you're working on. So if you did numbers one through nine and you want to take a break, that's fine. Finish number nine first. After you're finished with number nine, then you can log out and walk away, come back. Because once you open number nine, then they're going to grade it whether you put an answer or not. So you finish that question, take a break, go get lunch or whatever, come back, and then you're going to start on number 10. Now when you're done with the quiz, and you got an 89%, and you're like, man, 89%, I really wanted to get at least a 90% for an A, then you can redo the quiz. 
So you can't just redo the ones you missed. You do have to redo the whole quiz. And then I will um, use the grade, the better grade. Whichever one is better, that's what I'll keep. Okay, so that's basically how the My Math Lab works. I just want to emphasize real quick, if you look at on Canvas, so it's your job to do the problem sets and upload them under the assignments. It's my job to import your quiz grades. So in the past, some students have said, hey, I click on this quiz and it won't let me do anything. I click on the homework and it won't let me do anything. That's because that's your homework grade from my math lab. So it's my job to import it right here. So it's your job to do the problem sets and upload them under this assignments tab. And also the problem podcast problems, you do those and upload them here. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Email me.